Hello. Welcome to Crafty at Home Cafe. I'm Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And for the month of May, we are going to continue to bring you Crafty Cafe weekly on Thursdays at 2 p.m. You can head over to our website calendar at library.pflugervilletx.gov to check and see what upcoming crafts are for each week in May, as well as a supply list for them. So grab your drink and let's craft. And for our final craft of May, we've got this fun little um, mini tin, like Altoids type tin um, album or scrapbook um, using cardstock and a little bit of ribbon. And you create this really cool little thing that kind of slides right away. Um, so supplies wise for this, um, you're going to want to have at least one 12 by 12 sheet. Hopefully in a solid color. This is the one I used on my first test one. And then I've got some white that I'll use as a base for this one. A uh, couple of types of pattern paper or some scrapbooking pads have these fun little pages that have pre-made images or sayings on them already. Um, something like this would really be great to give a gift card as a gift. Um, a gift card pretty much should fit right about in there and tack right on um, and so other than the scrapbook paper I've got my ruler um, pencils I've also got this fun little cutter that will help me because um, I've probably said it before I am not that great at cutting in straight lines um, I've got a couple of ribbon options a fairly thin ribbon um, my empty tin prepared for use uh, gluing wise, I've got a little bit of E6000 that I'll use for the ribbon, um, but generally for the paper, I'm going to use this double sided uh, stick tape um, to place that down. You could use like an Elmer's glue, but really you'd want to make sure that you leave out um, your paper to dry completely before installing it in your tin. That way you don't get um, the paper will lay a little flatter. Um, I'm also very excited to have this, which is a corner punch, which will be able to make these um, rounded edges. Uh, you may be able to tell, uh, I came off pretty okay. Um, my hand, freehand cut rounded edges are not that smooth. So a tool like this will allow me um, to get right in there and punch the corner completely rounded. Okay, so we're ready to start cutting the paper um, to start building our mini tin album. Um, you're gonna wanna measure the tin that you have. This is um, just under three and a half inches on the interior. Um, so because I have this really nice little handy straight cutting um, guy right here, I can slide my paper under, measure to just under the three and a half. I've got my measurements down here. All right, and now I've got my solid color interior fold. Um, this is about a six fold, one, two, three, six fold, so 12 sided. And um, this fits really nicely into the tin. You could actually go a little bit farther and attach one to the other, um, either with some washi tape or a panel on top of a panel um, to give it a little bit more stability to get more of an album in your tin. But for this one, we're just gonna use the one six-sided um, page. So we've got our base color. I'm gonna set that aside. And I need to fold this down into two inch wide um, segments. So I'm just going to measure out on my paper here and mark at each two inch interval. And I'm just putting a little mark because I'm gonna fold this. Um, I could also do a light mark and then try and uh, erase it later and there's my so my four they're gonna be hard to see because I really did do very light marks on there um, and so I'm going to use my ruler or if you have a bone folder um, that'll work really well and I'm just gonna put my ruler right at my two inch mark and I'm gonna fold up my paper to start my crease there and then I'm really gonna try and fold as straight across as I can um, really getting a good crease there. Um, I can use my ruler. Again, if you have a bowl and folder, you can do that. 
and we're going to want an accordion fold. So I folded this one down this way, so now I'm going to flip the paper back over and fold opposite. So what you're going to get is what's called hills and valleys, um, so that you have that little nice accordion there. Um, and so for my next fold, I can really try to match down at the edge of my first fold. And the more you do this, the better your folds are going to be. And um, this was one of my first attempts. Now this is probably about two inches wide, but when I got to my last fold, oops, I didn't quite meet up there. Um, really, it still fits in the tin. I could probably use it if I wanted to, uh, but we've got another base color for this one. So on my third fold, I can actually see my little mark again. Um, so I went ahead and used that to help me fold, to help kind of make sure that I was doing um, my solid two inches. Come back my other direction. And then back again. Okay, so now we have a rectangle, um, which isn't going to fit in your little tin, which has the rounded edges. So this is the point at which if you're working with just scissors and the paper, you're just gonna kind of come and cut a rounded edge off of your paper. Pretty basic, it'll fit in there, it'll work. Um, for this handy little tool, if you're a paper crafter and you have one, um, the edge of your paper here just slides right in and you punch down and then it gives you that nice rounded edge. And for the interior folds to get those rounded edges there with the punch, I've just got it folded once. I'm gonna put there in the punch, punch down. And then when I open it, I have my nice little folded or curved edge there. All right, next step is to start decorating. We've got our interior color pattern paper and some of our little um, images, scrapbooky type things that we can add on. Um, so for this, you're gonna wanna decide based on your um, bottom color, whether you want um, to leave a little bit of room around the outside um, so that you kind of get that framing effect, um, or if you'd prefer to cover the bottom color completely so that all you're seeing is the pattern paper itself. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of both. So for these, we've measured them out and they are three and a half inches um, in length. So I'm going to do at least one where I fully cover. Um, so I'm going to head and measure out um, three and a half inches here. Uh, just under and cut my paper. And I'm going to need a second one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Here we are. I really like this paper because it's actually patterned on both sides. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use both sides. Again, I'm going to need those corners. So I'm just going to use my little punch here. That is just the most beautiful tool. Oh, I didn't like that one. There we go. All right, one more. My second. When you're using cutters, you want to make sure that you get all of the debris out of the bottom so that it can still cut correctly. One more corner, there's my fourth corner. All right, so now I'm going to be able to really just place these right over with my double-sided tape. And I'm just kind of giving it a box shape. Uh, I think I want to start this one with the flowery side. I'm going to place this right down on here. Making sure I'm not too far over. And I can actually see that there's a smidge of colored paper that fits beyond my fold there. Um, and that'll kind of hamper me when I'm opening and closing my little album tin here so I'm just going to trim that off um, so I have a better fold here um, and then you'll actually get to decorate both sides uh, so 
I'm going to use, but you want to leave uh, one of your ends um, blank until the very end for when we attach it to the tin itself. Um, but some of these middle pages, if you don't have anything else that you need to put on them, what you can do is give a little bit of these here. And actually that one, um, I'm gonna stop myself because I feel like I'm gonna have tape that's gonna lean, hang over. Um, so I'm actually gonna take that piece of scrapbook that I, paper that I wanna put on there and I'm going to put the double-sided tape directly onto that because I know that size and I know it won't overhang if I then take it and place it right on the one next to it. And this I can actually use. So on this side I did my flowers. This side I'm going to use the other side of the pattern paper and do the polka dots. And then I'll continue to build along in that manner. Okay, so we're ready to start decorating the tin itself. I've got um, most of my album part here um, ready to go. I've added some little solid pages, some cute little saying pages, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I've left my tail end here blank um, with my pieces set aside already so that I'm ready to um, install those when we get ready. So for the tin, I'm going to take and open it here. This is the part where I'll use a little bit of E6000 um, because I think it's going to keep those ribbons attached to the bottom um, a little bit better. And I've trimmed my little piece of ribbon down into about three, four inch pieces. Um, and I'm just going to take my E6000 and using the closing connections on the um, tin itself, I'm going to try and line those up right on the interior with a little dot of glue at the beginning and a little later on in there and here and there. We're really just trying to tack this ribbon down a little bit extra. We're going to be adding some um, double-sided tape in the bottom of this as well to attach our um, paper pieces in. So I'm just going to use that there, tap it down. Alright, and my second piece of ribbon it looks a little bit longer, so I think I'm going to use this here. Let's just make sure these are my two matching pieces. Yes, those are my two matching pieces. Sometimes you'll cut part of your supplies and then forget which one is the scrap. And which one was the original cut piece? Okay, so I've got my two ribbons here um, laid down in there. I'm going to give those a few minutes to set while I get ready for um, decorating the outside. Um, so on this one here, I just really double-sided taped down a piece of fun pattern paper. Um, and this is a pretty easy way to go about it. You can also use washi tape, you could use paint pens. You can really decorate the outside of this and stickers any way you want it to. Um, so for this particular one, I think I'm going to go with this nice pattern that I've chosen already for a bunch of the um, individual parts. I like the blue. Um, so it's my same tin. I know while this one's drying, I can use this one to make my um, pattern. With this, it'd be pretty easy. I can kind of set that anywhere on the paper. With something that has a pattern that's a little bit more spread out like this, I'm really going to use that tin to kind of get exactly the piece of the pattern that I want. And I'm just going to use a pencil here to go around the outside. On the black page, it's a little bit hard for me to see to cut out, but I can basically see it. And I'm just going to hand cut this cute little pattern of flowers out real quickly and I'll be able to clean it up after I get it cut off and check it to the top of my tin here and last around. The outside you could also use Mod Podge 
to um, really seal it on there. Like this is just the paper, so this is probably gonna get roughed up pretty quick. Um, and using a sealant on it will keep it nice a little bit longer. Um, as I mentioned already in this video, my cutting straight lines, not the best, so I can already see there's a smidge of trimming I'm gonna wanna do here. And then that will fit right on top of my tin. And for the final piece of this craft, we're ready to put it all together. We've given our ribbon a little bit of time for that glue to dry in there. Um, we've cut some other pieces uh, for the inside of the lid as well as the inside of the bottom. I've got a couple extra pieces for completing this once I've got it put together. Putting together, I will say, was the part that made me think the most. Um, this one the first time I put it together, I actually had to kind of open it backwards. Um, and really, I still don't have it in there exactly the way I wanted. I kind of wanted this really cool, um, I am beautifully ambitious um, image to be there when you first opened it up. But that's not how it worked out on this one. So this time around, we're going to figure it out a little bit better. Uh, for this, I know that this piece is my front. Be, let's be adventurous, darling. Um, and I know that I want it to come out from this direction. So I'm really kind of making sure that that's how it is. And then the other piece I want to make sure of is once I connect here, which side do I go on? If I connect to this side, I could fold in and the ribbons would be on the inside there, which would be fine. Um, and actually I could connect on this back side and then the ribbons would just fold under there. So in order to put it in the way I want it, I've got a mountain first, then a valley going towards the tin itself. So I'm going to put some double-sided tape on this final um, page here. Actually, I want to start with the tin first, I think. So I really am just using this double-sided tape to get... Um, my awesome little interior pieces right in here and they stick really well the ones on the inside of this these awesome gold shiny ones um have stayed no problem uh, and then for this one i'm going to use the black flowered side as the top and slide that right in there and actually i got that in there slightly off so, as any crafter knows, just gently pull that out, making sure I don't move my ribbons. Straighten it back out a little bit and go for a second pass. And that fits in a whole lot better there. With my interior designs in, I am ready to attach my album. Got a little bit more double-sided tape here. I'm really going to go at this one in particular because this is where I'm attaching my ribbons. Um, and just making sure that this is the piece I want to use here. So I'm not overlapping the tin because I need this to be able to move later on. So I'm kind of putting my paper right at the edge of the tin and laying the ribbon down onto the double stick right there and then bringing in my paper right over. This is a little awkward to press down. So that gives me this side completed. But I did have a little bit more on this side that I wanted to put on. Um, so this way, I'm actually going to use um, the tape on the paper again rather than on my album piece because I don't want to throw off that ribbon part just yet. Slide this right on here. And one last piece. Um, honestly, I could do really anything and, and I could just leave it this blank white 
maybe it's where I want to put date or I want to have um, a place that I can really write on. Um, there's also this particular type of um, scrapbook paper that had this cool little frame already. Um, something like that could be cut out and put on there. But now that I'm attached, I can just fold my accordion right together. And there's my little album slid in its front cover. And for this top, I like the metallic. So I think I'm really just going to add this lovely little butterfly here. Right to the top. Maybe if I had some gems, um, a little bedazzling, something like that. You know, Sharpie to write my name on it, that kind of thing. Or Woods too. And then when I open it up, let's be adventurous, darling. Escape the ordinary. Flip it over. A picture's worth a thousand words. Follow your dreams. All that kind of stuff. Maybe a uh, gift card to somewhere. And there it is. A nice little album tin. Hope you enjoy.